If I'm to be completely honest, I am extremely biased against some types of religions and some types of cultures. I try to be logical, rational, and fair, but I'm still biased, as really anyone is, really, if they really are looking at themselves honestly. The most hate-filled anti-LGBT views that I've ever seen have come from Muslims. I mean, you have the places like Westboro Baptist Church, but it's just not as, uh, yeah, you, you need to die. It, it, it just, it's, it's just a little different, you know? The most anti-LGBT countries have Sharia, which is basically the Quran written into law. You truly do not want to be LGBT in any of those countries. At the same time, there are things about Islam that are more positive than what is typically found in Christianity. Or, to be more accurate, those who claim that they're Christian. I mean, there's values that people claim that they have, but they don't necessarily reflect that in person, in, in their actual actions. Even though I was raised Christian, I was also raised to have values that I rarely see Christians participate in. And I shouldn't say Christians in general. It's, 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 this is not a statement of all. You know, I, I've obviously known a lot of Christians who were very, very decent people, and they tried to be the best people they can be, and they want to set a good example and all of that, so, so don't get me wrong. I was taught that bragging is wrong, usury is wrong. Though, to be honest, I never had a name for usury until more recently. And when I see some cultures put those things up on a pedestal rather than being demonized, I become rather disgusted with those cultures. I become distrustful of those cultures. Muslim cultures don't seem to represent those things at all, really. As many negative things I could point out about Muslim cultures, but... Those things are not problems in Muslim cultures. So I definitely can't pin that on Muslims. But there are certain cultures that are popular in the United States that exude those attributes and behaviors. And we're all just supposed to declare that diversity is a virtue. Anyway, I look at this current conflict between Israel and Hamas and can easily see that the country that is killing the most civilians and making Palestinian lives unsustainably miserable by taking away their essentials is Israel. There's no getting around that. And Israel has been brutally expanding their borders for many decades. But even the most positive take on the phrase, on the slogan, from the river to the sea still necessarily dictates that there should be a singular government dictating the whole region. Otherwise, how is that supposed to work? One of the problems that I have with Islam, at least in current times, is the way that it teaches that the message should be spread. It gives some people the notion that they're being oppressed, and that Allah is being desecrated if they can't implement Sharia. This can clearly be seen in places like Bin Laden's Letter to America. This can be seen by countless Muslim preachers. By those with that kind of mindset, Israel merely existing in the region that it is, is considered a stain, a mistake, an abomination. At so many pro-Palestinian rallies that I've seen footage of, as well as when I actually, a couple years ago, I was at a pro-Palestinian rally, it's quite common to hear people say, either directly or indirectly, that Israel doesn't have the right to exist at all. As I've said before, I sincerely wish Israel wasn't in the geographic region that it is. They should be next to other Western countries where they'll be considered allies rather than adversaries. But to many who believe in the Bible, Israel supposedly has a biblical right to that land. You know, which is just stupid. It's more religious bullshit. I've heard some incredibly naive takes on how this conflict should be handled. I mean, they're right up there with, Why can't we all just get along? One of them essentially being, Israel should just treat Hamas like allies and then just open the borders. Granted, I, I mean, I think Israel's collective punishment and general treatment of the Palestinians is utterly horrible. 
But that doesn't mean you just open everything up and assume they're all pro-Israel or something and open the borders, you know, and act as if there's no threat. That's crazy. Sorry, but that's just complete idiocy. As long as Hamas is still essentially running things in Palestine, and as long as Israel continues to create new terrorists with their anti-Palestinian policies, the war will continue. Yes, Israel has the right to defend itself, but not with that much collateral damage. War is ugly, but with technology it can be made less ugly. If Israel isn't willing to make it less ugly, it's really hard to support them. Yes, I'm very biased against Muslims, but I also can't deny what is right in front of us. Let me know what you think, though. Thanks for watching.